The former leader of the Turks and Caicos has ended his term as governor as the new governor is ready to step in and fill his shoes and make history at the same time. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton, has a look back at the leader's service to the Caribbean islands. Another governor gone. Nigel Dakin, CMG, is no longer the governor of the Turks and Caicos Islands. He and his wife Mandy left on March 29th amidst the usual pomp and pageantry which the role attracts when coming in and when headed out. A string of engagements were among the ways Dakin was assured that his four-year tenure, though hitting bumps, bends, and backlash along the way, was a success, where residents, including former and current country leaders, were able to remark on his Service. The TCI regiment is arguably loftiest of the achievements. The first military branch in the islands composed of young men and women who not only show grit as volunteers but as captains graduated from the illustrious Sandhurst Royal Military College in the UK, Dakin's alma mater. In February 2023, the Turks and Caicos Islands had its first royal visit in over 50 years with the visit of the now Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. And now, in March 2023, Governor Nigel Dakin bids farewell to the Turks and Caicos Islands after three years, eight months, and 116 meetings of the Cabinet of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Bitter but sweet, as Dakin's exit also gives distinctive opportunity to Turks and Caicos Islander Anya Williams, MBE, who is now interim governor. For a phenomenal term in office, marked with hard work, dedication, and sacrifice, we say a profound thank you to you, Governor Nigel Dakin. Williams will hold the helm, as she has done before until June, when the Turks and Caicos will welcome its first brown-skinned and female governor in the person of Delini Daniel Silvarithnam.